Oh, I'm so glad you could join me up here at the North Pole, Westminster. It's good to see you, and I'm glad you can see me. Now, I have some letters that I think we can take a look at each week. I get so much mail, you can see my big bag full of mail here. But I wanted to read this one for you today. It says, Dear Santa, I hope you're okay at the North Pole. Things are pretty bad down here. We have to wear masks and can't play with our friends the same. And we might not even be able to have grandpa and grandma over for Christmas dinner. How will I get my presents from them? How will I give them theirs? This staying home all the time is terrible. COVID is hopeless. If anyone knows how to beat all this at Christmas, it's you, Santa. So, how do you find hope in all this? Huh. Well, I'm really glad that that question was asked. You see, I used to be a priest. I know you can barely get it, get that from the, the get-up I wear these days, but yes, I used to be a priest. I was born in Turkey about 300 years after Jesus. And, you know, I had the red outfit and the, the red pointy hat, the whole thing. I was known as Nicholas back then. In fact, eventually, after I had helped a bunch of children and done some other things, I was named a saint. Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas, Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus, Santa Claus is how I got my name. Well, let me tell you, boys and girls, if there was hope for me way back then, there's hope for you too. You see, my biggest hope is in Jesus. Jesus came and was born in a manger to teach us how to love one another and to spread hope throughout the world. And that's who we're waiting for this Advent. It's Advent. Did you know that, boys and girls? Advent is a time of waiting for Jesus to be born again. So I have a little special gift for us right off the hop. This is an Advent calendar. It's a house with a whole bunch of little doors in it. And I, it just builds our anticipation towards Christmas. <laughs> so we're gonna open some doors, but not yet. Not yet, we haven't made it to the 1st of December yet. So we just have to keep wondering what there might be, hoping for what there could be. Remember, boys and girls, there's still a lot of good things going on in the world, too. I've heard you folks at Westminster have been doing a pre-Advent calendar, a reverse calendar, where you've been giving gifts to others instead of getting gifts from those doors. I'm so proud of you all. So keep hoping and keep dreaming, boys and girls. Wish for what you want, and you'll be surprised at just how much comes your way. <laughs> now, before I go, because I was a priest, I think I can do this. Let's say a prayer together. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for your son you're sending into the world again. Thank you for the hope that that gives us, and help us to spread hope to others through our gifts. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and I've got one special gift I might just drop off at Westminster. You take a look for it. Oh, 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 oh.